Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Destiny. I'm Death or Above. Let me do this one live. We're going to see how it goes. But today, I want to do a comparison of the Martyr's Retribution and the Deafening Whisper. We're going to do it live. We're going to do it without the music. Well, I guess we'll leave the music playing. I'll turn it down a little bit. And uh, we'll just have fun shooting the guns, talking about them, and comparing them. So we got, we got these two guns. Martyr's Retribution, Deafening Whisper. These are the only two wave frame grenade launchers. I'm going to go over the stats, the perks, put them head to head, and I'm going to pick my favorite. We're going to ignore War Mine Cells because they're going to go away eventually, I guess. I don't know. Eventually, these guns are not going to be, uh, you're not going to be able to use the War Mine mod weapons. So the, those mods, I guess, will go away. Question mark, because obviously Martyr's Retribution can make War Mine Cells and blow them up, and Deafening Whisper can't. So. Putting that aside, I want to put these guns head to head, talk about them, go over the stats, go over the perks, and see which one I like the best, because they're the only two wave frame grenade launchers we got. Deafening Whisper is new this season. You get it from Crow. Martyr's Retribution is old. It came from uh, Season of the Old, Season of the Worthy, maybe Season of the Warmind. I don't remember which one it was. Uh, there's, a, there's a thing happening, but here you go. Let's take a look at the weapon stats for the two talk about each one i'll scroll up so you can see each of them next to each other let's talk about it deafening whisper martyrs retribution we got the stats right here they have similar st no they don't they have different these stats are weird so it goes stability handling reload speed velocity blast radius blast radius is what i'm interested in they have the same blast radius aim assist on a grenade launcher i don't really care about inventory size about the same zoom recoil bounce intensity I don't care about any of that I really only care about handling which deafening whisper is over here yes martyrs retribution is over here so we have handling is higher on deafening whisper Handling's lower in Martyr's Retribution. Reload speed's a little bit lower in Martyr's Retribution, a little bit faster on Deafening Whisper. So Deafening Whisper is going to be a little bit quicker. Uh, velocity is slower on Deafening Whisper. It's faster on Martyr's Retribution, but the blast radius is the same. So really, Deafening Whisper is going to feel a little bit better to use. Martyr's Retribution is going to feel a little bit stronger once you hit it, because it's going to go a little faster. Other than that, not a big difference. They're wave frame grenade launchers. This one's void. Mar uh, Deafening Whisper is void. Martyr's Retribution is solar. There you go. Uh, so perks are kind of where it really matters. So that's what we're going to focus on. Can you guys see the perks? Yes, you can. Sorry that there are ads. I do not have ad blocker on the live stream. I'm probably going to edit this up in post. But uh, let's look at the perks. So uh, we're going to ignore the barrel perks. And the mag perks because they're basically the same basically identical or they're very similar so you can get the same on both pretty much so you've got quick launch there quick launch here counter mass yes yeah, smart drift they're out of order which is strange i don't know why they're out of order uh volatile launch confined launch Linear Compensator, does it have Linear Compensator? It does, and a Hard Launch. So those are pretty much the same. So all Grenade Launchers, I think, have the same Barrel Mods. Uh, so here's what we'll do. We'll look at the two perk columns, compare each one. So Martyr's Retribution comes with Auto Loading Holster, which is God Tier. That's the one you want. Uh, field Prep, Threat Detector, Genesis, Underdog. If you have one of these in your vault, pull it out and look at it, see if it's any good. Uh, don't think you can get this one to drop anymore. Rangefinder, the second column, Demolitionist, Lead from Gold, Elemental Capacitor, and Moving Target. The one I have has Auto Loading Holster, Moving Target, and Rangefinder. Uh, increased Projectile Velocity while aiming RD, uh, Rocket Launchers and Grenade Launchers. So Rangefinder on mine will actually help when aiming. Nice. That's nice. I like that. All right. Um, let's see. Deafening Whisper has lead from gold. If you want to look at the God Royal Guides for either of these guns, I will link it in the description of the YouTube video. If you want to look at it while we're watching it right now, you're going to have to search my channel uh, and find it. But uh, interesting gun. Deafening Whisper, lead from gold, ambitious assassin, killing wind, surplus, underdog, moving target. This one has more options, but it does not have auto-loading holster. We have Rampage in the second column, Wellspring. Oh, it does have auto-loading holster in the second column. Uh, threat detector, unrelenting, and snapshot. <laughs> 
So my god roll on the martyrs is actually auto-loading rangefinder, which I have. Uh, or auto-loading moving target. So I have an auto-loading with rangefinder and moving target. You could, you could farm this last season, couldn't you? I have one with two perks in the second column, so I'm thinking yes. Um, deafening whisper. Auto-loading holster is pretty much solid choice, and I like killing wind. I have one with killing wind and threat detector. Threat detector helps with the reload. So it's not bad, but I would prefer auto-loading holster. I, I have a hard time playing a grenade launcher in my secondary slot if it does not have auto-loading holster. It's necessary. It is known. So I like having that. So that's pretty sweet. Um, lead from gold, ambassador's assassin, killing wind. Killing wind would be cool. Mobility, weapon range, and handling. So if you're keeping a reload, killing wind could be useful. I don't like surplus on it too much or ambitious. Does ambitious assassin add another grenade? I think it does. I think you can get two. Lead from gold would be good. So yeah, if I could get an auto loading lead from gold versus an auto loading uh, lead from gold, we could go apples to apples on this one, and it'd be real close. It'd be real close. I mean, obviously the warmon cells are what makes martyr's retribution so good. Um, let's go kill a few things with them and then we'll uh, then we'll talk about it and I'll pick a favorite so uh, like I said they're wave frame so when you fire it it shoots out a wave of energy that damages the enemies in front of it and they're actually really really strong like super strong reload that sucker all right you see like that was a yellow bar he did so I like I like these grenade launchers a lot so Martyr's Retribution is going to be the more... It feels more powerful. It is slower handling and slower on the uh, reload, I think. But it feels stronger. It feels like the explosion does more damage, even though it doesn't. It's exactly the same uh, blast radius. But I've always liked it. Maybe it's just because it's fire. i got to take a look at the uh, Deafening Whisper again to see what the... Eh, about the same. Just different color. I don't know. Uh, Grim Citizen in chat confirms Ambitious gives you two in the mag. Um, interesting. Neat. So which one do you prefer? Chat in the comments or chat in the video? Let me know. Put it down there before I give you my verdict. But uh, they're both pretty solid. You can't go wrong with either. I mean, one's void, one's solar. Keep them both if you got them both. Um, but auto-loading holster, if you got one with auto-loading holster, that's the one you want to use. If you got both without a loading holster, you got it right. Um, you can't farm Martyr's Retribution anymore. You can farm Deafening Whisper by doing these uh, these hunts here on the Tangled Shore. I need some ammo, guys. Give me some ammo. Hey, y'all can just have that. So yeah, you can farm uh, farm up the Deafening Whisper. It's definitely worth it. I like it. Just because you can't make war mine cells with it does not mean it's not good. It's definitely good. Uh, and I like it. I like it. Definitely ambitious assassin all day, Sean. Okay, cool. That's interesting. I wonder... I guess they meant for that to happen. Haha. <laughs> he did. But yeah, I don't know. Uh, if you take away Warmind Cells, I like Deafening Whisper a little bit better because it's a little bit cooler looking to me. I like it a little... It feels like it is a little bit quicker. Um, but the good thing about this is, even though I pick a winner, you don't have to. If you got both of them, use them both. Situationally, you know, when it's Void Burn, use it for Void Burn. When it's Solar Burn, use it for Solar Burn. If you want to use one for a specific shield, use that one. It's the good thing about Destiny is you can keep both of them. You don't... Uh, I'll pick a winner because this is a YouTube video and a live stream if you ever want to check that out. Uh, just turn on notifications. I stream on YouTube. Um, but yeah. Cool gun. I like them both. I like Deafening Whisper a little bit more right now, but Martyrs is going to be on the way out soon. And you can farm this one, so it's fun. So, anyway, let me know what you thought. Leave a like. And uh, I'll see you later. See you back.